share a little bit. Um, Ken Smith, um, local friend, longtime friend, and uh, tell us a little bit about your, your own story and personal care side. Well, thanks, Carolyn. So my name's Ken Smith, and uh, I spent the first 32 years of my life on decongestants and antihistamines. I was allergic to everything. Um, my skin was super sensitive. Um, I mean, I lived in San Francisco and got heat rash, and that's really tough to do. <laughs> um, the only way that I could run a dishwasher is I used to leave my briefcase by the front door. I'd go into the kitchen, I'd hit the on button on the dishwasher and leave the house. I couldn't be in the house with the smell of the chemicals. Um, and back in uh, 1983, I remember I just ordered, I, I, I'd been out, lived out in San Francisco and while I was out there, I found this brand of vitamins that I just thought was absolutely the greatest thing on earth. And I remember I'd spent $138 to get four bottles of vitamins, not three and a half, but four. And, um, I sat down with somebody and looked at what I really had, and I figured out that I had about $6 worth of UPS shipping, $130 worth of marketing BS, and $2 worth of synthetic garbage. So I just spent all that money, and I didn't have a lot of money. If you do the math, it's like $450 in today's money. Um, so I kept taking these things for a while, but I finally switched to another brand and like my life changed overnight. I switched to non-toxic cleaning products, away from commercial cleaning products. And I, I really, what got me interested was environmental. Um, I wanted something that was safer for the planet. I was very active in the Sierra Club, which is an environmental conservation group. And I used to do all these canoe and hiking trips out in the wilderness. And so having some things that where I was gonna leave less of a footprint, that's really the only reason I ever listened to the other message about taking care of my own health. So I used to say that making smarter decisions was a no brainer because I felt so much better. But if you follow the research now, we know that long-term consistent use of antihistamines is directly connected to early onset dementia. So if I had stayed on that path, I truly would have no brain. <laughs> so, where are we now and where am I now? Yesterday morning, I went out and I ran a mile barefoot. I didn't run for about 10, 15 years because my feet are trashed. Um, my podiatrist told me if you run, you'll not be able to walk. I'm supposed to have a complete rebuild of my foot. 20 years ago, I didn't do it. So I didn't run for a very long time. And then during the pandemic, I started walking and then I started walking barefoot because I'd heard how good it was. So then I felt really good on my feet and then I started running. So yesterday I ran a mile barefoot in nine minutes and 31 seconds, which for you athletes is nothing, right? I, I know in high school, everybody went out and ran a six minute or a five minute mile, but three things are gonna happen in April of this year. I'm gonna celebrate my 72nd birthday. And I'm gonna to go to my 50th college reunion to see all the old people. <laughs> so, um, I Googled this a while ago. Each one of us, have you ever, th think about this. When you go out to dinner with a couple, right? They're younger and she doesn't order a drink. And everybody goes, oh, she's pregnant, <laughs> right? Because now we're building another body. Now we gotta take care of it. But we don't know how many cells does each one of us make every single day? I Googled it. Anybody wanna take a guess? Three trillion. Three trillion. Trillion, no, actually we make 330 billion. But, we, but that means we make over 10 trillion a month. So you're in, but most people will go, I don't know, 10,000, right? We make 330 billion cells every day. So it's up to us to build good cells, to give our bodies what they need, because we're all construction zones. And that's my story.
I love it. Thank you, Ken. Do we have uh, pictures and do we have anybody on Zoom? You can put up the pictures and I'll tell the story. And I think she's ready to come in. Incidentally, thanks to Jeremy back there, who is our magnificent AV guy. This does not happen without, without the pros. So I'm going to tell you a story as we bring her in. This is the story of an Olympic gold medalist. And her name is Amanda Polk. And in 2000, 